This video presents tips and tricks for using the tube clear system and GJ clearing stem to clear a G-Jet low profile button gastrojejunal feeding tube. This is the tube clear system. It is an FDA cleared patented device to clear sluggish and clogged feeding and decompression tubes while the tube remains in the patient and operates at bedside. It is a two part system, the reusable control box and the single use clearing stem. For instructions on how to set up the control box or the GJ1422 clearing stem, please refer to your operator's manual or the helpful videos on our website at www.tubeclear.com. For this video, we're going to be clearing an AMT G-Jet with a 45 centimeter jejunal length, 14 French, and a five centimeter stoma. For the purpose of this video, I have already set my depth limiter as per the instructions located in the operator's manual. When operating the tube clear system, please employ clean techniques. Make sure to use a disposable under pad and ensure all surfaces are sanitized properly before beginning the process. You can place the clearing stem in the clearing stem bag that has a hole to hang on an IV pole when not in use. And be sure to keep paper towels handy throughout the process. Before I start, I'm going to Start my control box and make sure that my wire tip is displacing. This is what breaks up that clog and really helps get that tube clear. Very important, always coat your clearing stem with coconut oil before inserting into the tube. Each time you remove the clearing stem from the tube, always recoat with the coconut oil. The coconut oil is a lubricant. It's going to act as a lubricant to help us traverse um, the very tacky and um, difficult geometry of the J-port. I'm going to insert my coated clearing stem into the J-port a few inches and turn on my control box. I'm going to advance the clearing stem as far as I can until it gets kind of hard to push. Once it's there, I'm going to use short, fast choppy motions. Be sure to secure this button with one hand and keep your fingers as close as possible to this portion so that you don't have kinking. Do not pinch or squeeze the clearing stem so that you don't have kinking. Pull back a little bit, move forward again, helping get new momentum. Sometimes it's okay just hold forward pressure, letting that wire do all the work. So as the depth limiter gets closer to the port, you know that you're advancing. Uh, once the depth limiter reaches the port, the um, clearing stem has reached the end of the feeding tube. After you've worked on it for a while, slowly, do not yank the clearing stem, slowly pull the clearing stem out. Using a primed extension kit, we will flush and aspirate. It's a good idea to have your extension kit primed so that you're not just pushing air into the tube, uh, you're pushing water. So I have 15 cc's in my syringe and I'm going to flush and aspirate with this nice pumping action. It helps get things moving back and forth, spreading them out a little bit and then I will push about a few cc's of pressure. So when I feel pressure, I advance it about one to two cc's on the syringe, and I just hold that for 10 to 15 seconds. Sometimes just that, it's slowly uh, moving the clog through. Then I'll flush and aspirate. After you have flushed the tube, repeat the whole process two to three more times, reinserting the clearing stem until the depth limiter is reached each time. Let's review the important tips and tricks covered today. Use coconut oil liberally and recoat the stem each time you remove and reinsert. Flush and aspirate frequently. Keep your fingers close to the port and avoid other motions that might cause kinking. Use short, rapid motions and forward pressure to your advantage. Hold 10 to 15 seconds of pressure on the enteral syringe to help move the clog through the tube. In between removing and reinserting the clearing stem, always check that the wire tip is still displacing correctly and always take breaks as needed. 
Patience and determination are key in clearing a sluggish or clogged tube. If you have any further questions about your tube clear system, please contact Actuated Medical's Customer Service Department.